Hey, what up guys? We're back at it again with another awesome video for you today. Everyone knows who G Herbo is. He's one of the biggest names in hip hop right now and was even listed on the Forbes 30 under 30 list. However, things don't seem to be all that great for Herbo. He has recently been caught up in a fraud scheme and could be facing some time for it. In today's video, we finna be talking about that scheme as well as what G Herbo has to say about that situation. Before we start, if you're a fan of the channel, you already know what it is. Before we start the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of one of these items on the screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video to the end to comment the hidden keyword. Good luck! G. Erbo was born on October 8, 1995 under the name Herbert Randall Wright III. He used to be known under the stage name Lil Herb, but ever since he blew up around the early 2010s, G Herbo began to gain some major traction for himself over his track Kill Shit with Lil Bibby which dropped in August of 2012. Since then, the rapper has blown up and gone on to do great things. From major collabs with artists like Nicki Minaj or Chance the Rapper, he made it to the top very quickly. He was one of the major faces of Chicago rap for a while and has managed to stay on top for more than half a decade even though he's only 25 years old at the time of recording this. That's crazy. Things are starting to seem a little bad for G Herbal. However, considering the latest charges against him, the feds are claiming that he's been involved in some major fraud spanning the course of four or more years. And as a big G Herbal fan, that's concerning. It looks like G Herbo and a few of his associates are under a microscope and have the full attention of the feds in connecting to some fraud charges that are being brought up against them. Now these charges stem from events that started all the way back in 2016 and led up to mid to late 2020. Though G Herbo is denying his involvement in the scandal, many believe that he's lying. The incident involved one of his music promoters who was often in charge of handling the expenses of Herbo when it came to things like traveling and driving around. The man's name is Antonio Strong, also known as T. Glow, and many people speculate that it's highly unlikely that Herbo knew nothing about it. A Chicago area rapper has been charged with making a false statement to a federal agent in an extensive fraud case. Herbert Wright, who goes by the name G. Herbo, appeared in a federal court in Springfield, Massachusetts Tuesday. He's one of six people previously accused of using stolen credit cards for four years to pay for a lavish lifestyle. Federal agents say Wright denied knowing one of the other defendants when they questioned him in 2018. If convicted in that case, he could serve up to five years in prison. The scam involved them somehow acquiring other people's personal information off of the dark web and then using that information to acquire credit card and debit cards. According to the fraud charges against the people involved, Herbo and his crew would often use those stolen cards to fund the lifestyle that we've been seeing him live. It's being said that texts and DMs acquired by the Fed show that the crew would often exchange the information around so they could spend that money. And when they were discussing it, they used code words like moves or joints whenever referring to charges cashed out on the dirty cards. And the things that they allegedly used the stolen money on were crazy like captured on Instagram videos at times. As of now, it's said that Erbo, T. Glow, and the crew would use the stolen money on things like private jets to fly to tours and events. They would use the cards to rent out exotic cars and nice hotels in whatever city they went to, including paying for a full-on vacation to Jamaica. Not your typical vacation though, a baller vacation in a crazy expensive villa with all the amenities that you would expect from a typical rapper living it up. As I said, the feds have been onto the scam for some time now and have just been sitting back building a case and just now decided to drop the hammer. They let them all feel comfortable in their scheme and the last second swooped in with flashing lights and hit them with more than two dozen charges. The way that Herbo ended up being connected to the crew other than being guilty by association was something that kind of surprised me when you compare it to the exotic cars and fancy vacations. So what happened was, back in November of 2017, T. Glow was identifying himself as G. Herbo's manager under the name of Darren Geiger while trying to purchase a couple of puppies. Now, these have been quoted as being designer puppies which seems a little extra but that's not the point here. T. Glow tries to purchase these two puppies under the fake identity of Darren Geiger and when he went to use the stolen car, the unidentified pet company became suspicious. The owners of the company asked Tiglo to have G Herbal message them directly to confirm the order of two designer puppies, to which Herbal responded and confirmed the order according to the charges. This one DM exchange connecting Herbal to the scam put him right in the spotlight, seeing how he was the highest profile person involved in the case. 
It's said that as of now, six people including Erbo and Tiglo have been charged with their involvement in the scam, all of which are facing up to 14 federal charges including aggravated identity theft and wire transfer fraud. The four people that have allegedly been indicted other than G. Erbo and Tiglo are four men by the names of Joseph Williams, aka Joe Rodeo, Stephen Hayes Jr., Terrence Bender, and Demario Sorrells. The charges placed against G. Erbo and his crew came only a week after he was named as one of the 30 on Forbes 30 under 30 list. Looks like that week he had one super positive headline for Erbo followed by one that has fans worried about what may happen to the rapper. It seems like a lot of artists have been getting caught up in some white collar crimes lately, but this one was a bit surprising. I think it surprised people for two major reasons. The first one simply being that G. Erbo is one of the hottest rappers around right now and has been big for a few years now. Wouldn't you think that he was making bank on his own? Why would you steal money you don't need? The other thing that was shocking to people was the fact that he's claiming his innocence and saying that he didn't have any involvement in the scam. That's right, despite the dude that handles most of the expenses being the main person involved in the scheme, and despite them having multiple texts and DMs showing he must have known something about it. But still, he's claiming that he's innocent and has pleaded not guilty. Now there are a lot of people speculating that if he had just pled guilty and worked with the charges then there was a good chance that they would have just been able to get probation of sorts. After all, he didn't kill anyone or anything like that. The crimes that he's being accused of are white collar crimes and most likely will only land him a few years at most. However, the few years could have been a lot less if he had pled guilty. There's a good chance that he won't be found innocent because even if he didn't commit the fraud himself, there's no way he didn't know about it. The fact that he was complicated and partook in the stolen goods makes him just as guilty as everyone else involved according to the odds of the court. It looks like the trouble doesn't end there for G. Herbal though, as of May 2021, the feds are hitting him up with yet another charge. This one alone, if it sticks, could land G. Herbal a prison sentence of up to 5 years on top of whatever he may catch for the fraud charges. It's been announced that he's being charged with lying to federal investigators, specifically in connection to the fraud case that they have connected him to. Authorities claim that they have proof in the form of texts and DMs that more than confirm G. Erbo's involvement without the shadow of a doubt. They claim that Erbo has known about and been involved in the fraud since the case began being investigated back in 2016. Things really ain't looking good for Erbo right now. It seems like he really can't catch a break. G. Erbo may be one of the biggest artists out right now, but I wonder if he'll remain that way if he ends up being charged and has to go to prison. Hopefully that won't be the case, but we won't know until they set and run a trial. But what do you guys think? Was G. Herbo involved in the fraud? And if so, do you think he'll see time behind bars? Be sure to let us know in the comments section. Hey you, yeah you, you like the video? Great, we got another one for you that we guarantee you'll like. And all you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees, but you have to click on fast because this message will self-destruct in five seconds.